Hey, Denver, Mayor Hancock here. I am sitting here with the incomparable Norman Harris, a fellow Denverite and promoter of the Juneteenth Music Festival in the heart of Five Points. Norm, I'm so glad to have you here, man. I'm excited to be walking in the Juneteenth Parade coming up in just a couple of weeks here in Denver. Let's talk about the dates of the event to get started so everybody knows right away. Yeah, well, the dates for Juneteenth are Saturday, June 17th, and Sunday, June 18th. We've got a packed lineup of activities yes. for the entire community to be a part of. As you mentioned, it kicks off with the Juneteenth Parade. It's Denver's longest running parade. We've clearly got thousands of people signed up to get started at Manual High School. You, of course, will be helping lead the parade, so we're so excited to be looking forward to uh, it. putting that out for the community. We're going to talk more about the events in just a moment, but this last year we saw the president sign a bill that was historic, right? Juneteenth has been around. We talked about it before we went on air. 70 years in Denver, Colorado. Yeah. But let's talk about nationally, historically. What is the meaning of Juneteenth? Well, Juneteenth celebrates June 19th, 1865. It's actually the day that African Americans in Galveston, Texas learned of their freedom two years after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation right. by our President Abraham Lincoln. And they had the, the U.S. Marshals right up on them, and they were still serving as? As slaves. As slaves. Yeah. And the U.S. Marshal informed them, you have been emancipated by the president, correct? Right, and since that day, we have been moving forward, moving our community upward, having these celebrations, which have mm -hmm. been, I believe, one of the hallmarks in terms of our community coming right. together to understand why it's important to celebrate our freedoms. So, let's talk about our community, because you and I grew up in Denver. We remember going down to watch the parade, um, and, and of course, enjoying Juneteenth as we grew up in Denver. Why is this event, besides the history, significant to us here in Denver. You know, I can just recollect those times as a kid, coming out on Juneteenth, coming home with a t-shirt, coming home getting some good food, and now that we have the opportunity to recreate that mm. for our youth, um, it's a, a lifetime uh, achievement to, to put this type of thing on. So kids come down, they can get a hockey stick from the uh, Colorado Avalanche, mm -hmm. or a basketball from the Denver Nuggets, or run into some of their uh, bigger, older cousins down there. It's really just a, a celebration in which um, that type of experience is sticky and it makes yeah. those kids want to come back and be a part of Juneteenth at a, at a higher capacity. Absolutely, and you have helped to revitalize Juneteenth. Let's just be honest, there was a lull for about a decade where Juneteenth wasn't taking place and it certainly didn't look like and feel like the Juneteenth that we grew up in. So I want to publicly commend you now for what you've done on behalf of all of us in the city and bringing back such a a, a venerable event in the life of our city. Now on the 17th and 18th, there's going to be a lot happening down in Juneteenth. And what you did when you brought it back was you added a little stink to it. And yeah. I got to tell you, I love that the stink that you brought to it. Talk about it because I want the public to know what's going to happen. Well, that was probably one of the biggest transformations was making Juneteenth, Juneteenth Music Festival. So mm -hmm. over the years, we've had the opportunity to bring headline talent, which I think has really raised the visibility of the celebration. This year we've got a um, music soul child who is going to be singing some of our most favorite songs from the uh, late 90s and 2000s. And I'm telling you, my phone has just been buzzing right. with people saying, how can I get involved? What yeah, time right. is he going to be playing? But, you know, I think it just falls in line with the legacy of Five Points for us to be able to bring someone like Music Soul Child for the entire community to be enjoy a show for free. Where else can you go to experience something like that? Not very often anywhere uh, these yeah. days. These artists are tied to some very big promotion companies, yeah. and it's hard to get them in here. So how does one obtain tickets to be part of the Music Soul Child? <laughs> Juneteenth is free. The parade yeah. is free. Well, so does the concert. But how do they how do they find more information? For more information, you're going to go to www.juneteenthmusicfestival.com. Okay. You can follow us on Instagram. It's I am Juneteenth, or on Facebook, look for Juneteenth Music Festival as well. Again, it's uh, Saturday, June seventeenth, and the eight and Sunday, June eighteenth, in the historic Five Points neighborhood. We just welcome everyone to come be a part of it. And when does Music Soul Child hit the stage? Music Soul Child will be on Sunday around about five o'clock. I tell people you better get down there early right. to find a Absolutely. good space. Well, come down and get yeah. some food, hang yeah. out, right? For sure. Your other music, uh, and that is Juneteenth Music Festival dot com. Get more information. I'll see you at Manual High School, teeing up at 9, walking off at, stepping off at 10. Yes, sir. Come on down and check us out for the parade on Saturday the 17th. And enjoy Juneteenth throughout the 17th and then on the 18th. Thank you, my man. Norm Harris, we'll see you all on Juneteenth.